Hey guys, so I just, I took my big snake out. And look at the head. She's not being hurt. She's just really doesn't want to be messed with right now. Here. She's just really nervous. So I gotta hold her. She's trying to wrap herself. She's a beauty. So I'm gonna put her away because I am cleaning her. It's taken me a while to get her tamed. She's been a challenge. Um, but hopefully that'll change here in time. She's gotta know that I'm not trying to hurt her and I'm not the enemy. So I just spent the last 20 minutes cleaning. Enclosure, she's not happy of course at the moment. She never seems happy. It's been hard to uh, tame her. She still sees me as an enemy. I've been bitten one time by a boa this big. It's really not that bad, but she's definitely growing. You never want to handle a boa when they get really big by yourself because obviously the strength they have when they uh, wrap themselves around you are constrict anyways. Uh, but she's still not too strong, so I can handle her myself. I just gotta be careful not to be bitten by her because uh, she will try to bite me. But she's gotta keep in mind that I am her daddy. <laughs> and I'm the one who feeds her and cleans her enclosure and provides her fresh water and more. But her enclosure, I did a deep clean. I usually do a deep clean uh, once a month unless she has a bad month where she potties a lot but for the most part uh, it's not that bad I just use um, dog baggies same pa dog patty uh, baggies that you use when you walk your dog I use those for all my reptiles because it makes it very easy to clean without having to wear gloves and stuff so basically when she potties I just, you know, put my hand in the bag and grab the potty and then of course tie the bag and throw it out. Very easy. So if you're not doing that, I definitely recommend it. It beats, you know, or you can use a plastic bag, but I buy, cause I have a pit bull, I buy them by the thousands. Um, but as you can see, she's doing well. This girl is so beautiful. It's gonna take me some time to tame her because again, she still sees me as a threat. Uh, she's big enough to eat a uh, guinea pig, which I have four of. Uh, she's big enough to eat a rabbit, which I have two of, um, but I only feed her frozen uh, chickens, rats, and more. Uh, so if you ever, if you live in Holland, you ever come across a dead squirrel, dead rabbit, or you have pets that pass away, you know, it's a circle of life. If you want to contact me, if you live in Holland, I'll come pick them up and she'll take care of them for you. Um, so I do no life feeding. I find no joy in it. But yeah, as you can see, she is doing extremely well. Look at that head. Looking forward to the summer. Taking her outside and letting her free roam. But I'm gonna put her in her cage here, her enclosure, and give her fresh water. I cleaned her hide. I'll show you her. her I'll show you her hide here uh, shortly. Constrict around you, really good. It can be hard to uh, take them off of you, but she's very strong, just not strong enough yet. Uh, that I have to worry about her. But obviously as she gets bigger, uh, then I do have to watch what I do. Um, but for the most part, she's a really good girl. She minds her business, she eats. She eats her food and she just sleeps a lot. Look, see, she's just looking at me like, what do you want? 
So I'm gonna leave her alone so that way she can uh, calm down because I know she's really stressful right now. But she's got fresh water. She's got, this is the height I made. It's a big container. And basically what I did is I cut the front. I'm not gonna put my hand in the front because I don't want her to strike me. But she's like, leave me alone. I'll be making some videos with, with her. Uh, so make sure to follow me and subscribe.